Hi guys, Plum Friends here. Do apologise um, about the light on my face. It's just that camera's there. Dog dog's there, as you can see. Um, right, this is a video response from a question that I got asked from my last video from Disabled and Prepping. I'm doing a video response because I can't actually explain in a text, or oh, not text, but in a message response. So I'm going to do it this way. All the modifications I do on every single rucksack, it's all done by hand. Every single piece. I write it all down, I draw it, I write everything down, I measure everything up, and then I do it. But sometimes I don't do it like that. Sometimes I just draw it, and draw it, and draw it, and draw it, and then that's it. It never goes ahead. The reason I put, as I said, put this one on, because I do prefer what that's with lids. And to me, it makes this one here makes it so much better. This looks like no, this is a compact um, compact UK rucksack. I did not do the modifications of the big body of the rucksack. The only thing my friend did before she passed away was add that back piece, but I've just extended the top piece of it. She changed the straps, but they are combat UK molly straps from a, I think it's from the webbing. I know she's done that and that's sewn in. I know that was done by hand. I know that one there, oh no, you can't see now, that one there, this, this store um, pouch, I know that was all done by hand because I did that myself. Um, this pouch in here, that one there was done by hand. The one inside of this main, this second compartment was all done by hand. Everything. It gets done by hand. Nothing gets done by machine or oh, sewing machine because I just, or oh, I know she didn't take the by sewing machine because it was taking too long and it was just, well, it took the rucksack apart to put the rucksack back together. And at the time she was desperate for the rucksack, she needed one and then so, yeah. But sadly she never got a chance to use it. So, yeah, that's the saddest thing. Um, most was it. So, yeah, everything, get, I, we do, I do everything by hand. All these needles, I've got so many needles down here, all different types of needles, all different sizes, for all different types of jobs. I do use polyester thread. I don't recommend cotton because after all the time, cotton rots and breaks down. And as well, for the big, big jobs, like say, for example, the lid and that back piece. What I've extended, I've used basically extra thick thread, and it's just easier. This stuff so much nicer than going over it about 20 million times with this stuff. I just use this stuff. I have gone through mountains of these. I think I've gone through about 10 to 15 of these over the, over the space of four years, I think it's been. But this is my second one of these ones, so it's not too bad. And there's a thousand, oh, no, 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 160 meters. I apologize, that's just a message coming through. So, yeah, I hope that answers your question, and I hope that really is. If you are going to do modifications on a rucksack, draw it first. Draw what you want on it. Draw what you really seriously need on this modification, because don't just jump into it and destroy your back. That's the one thing I do have to say, one thing I do recommend. As I said before, I feel the, um, most of this was done by her, most of the power cord on here. Yeah, I know I added these, these are sewn in, but I used this thread. I do, I will be going over what I do afterwards, after I've done all the, after all the things done, with to seed it all up and get it all waxed in, basically using wax, gumming wax. To make it waterproof more and get it more better. So, I'm going to leave it there, guys, because at the end of the day, there's no point kind of talking about this anymore because you've all seen it. And thank you very much, and we'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye bye.